Hi guys, what's up? Thanks for watching my channel. I'm Prashi Kaveri, a final year medical student from Bangalore, India. So welcome back to this very super informative video. In this video, I'll be talking about all the different scholarships that the medical students can apply so that the money can help them in their studies, in their coaching, uh, or at the least as a pocket money and whatnot. Okay. So without any further delay, I'll just come right into the topic. The first scholarship that I want to talk about is NSP, aka National Scholarship Portal. So this portal was created under the e-governance scheme in India, where all the union level scholarships have been put under one umbrella portal. So once you uh, apply to this the National Scholarship Portal, you will be directed to uh, all the different scholarships that are available under this scheme. And there are different scholarships available like under disability category, under minority affairs category for higher education and whatnot. There are lots of different scholarships that are available under this portal. And the family income level of a student who is applying to it should be around 1 lakh to 6 lakh for different scholarships under it. Also, if you're a medical student, you'll be getting around 10,000 on a yearly basis for first year and second year. And you will be getting an amount of 20,000 in your third year and fourth year. And the application mode is online. The second scholarship that I want to talk about is SSP, that is State Scholarship Portal. So every state has a portal like this where you can apply for various scholarships from the state government in one unified portal. So since I am studying in Karnataka, I will talk in terms of Karnataka State Scholarship Portal. Here, uh, you know, scholarships are available for pre-matric and post-matric courses under a unified portal and scholarship categories ranges from backward classes to minorities to higher education, vocational training, technical training and whatnot. It's a lot available under this portal and the family income for the students uh, doing medical that can apply to the scholarship should be less than 1 lakh per annum. And uh, you'll be getting scholarship of anywhere ranging from 30,000 to 80,000, uh, you know, uh, in different years of your course. You're getting it in first year, second year, third, fourth, and I think even in your internship, you'll be getting the amount and can be anywhere between 30,000 to 80,000. The third scholarship that I want to talk about is something called as NEST. You heard it right. It's NEST. That is National Education and Scholarship Test. So this test is conducted by the national government in first year, second year, third and fourth year. And if even you are a student who is studying in second PU can write this exam. So students in second PU, diploma, engineering and medical can apply to this exam. And, you know, exams will be conducted every year in 65 recognized centers all over the country. And if you are in first and second year, you have to give NEST 1. And if you are in third or fourth year, you'll be having NEST 2, which is also called as a senior NEST test. And if you qualify in the exam, you'll be given a yearly scholarship of 40,000 rupees. The next scholarship is a Farmer's Child Scholarship. This scholarship was launched by the Chief Minister of Karnataka, Sir Basavaraj Bamai. So under the scholarship, his aim was to give financial assistance to the students uh, whose parents are farmers by profession. So if you're doing medical, you'll be given an, an amount of 11,000 if you're girls and uh, an amount of 10,000 if you're boys. And this is on a yearly basis and the application process is completely online. A farmer's ID will be issued to the parents and the same is to be used while the student is applying for the scholarship. And if you are applying to the scholarship, one criteria is that you need to be studying in the same state itself. Coming to the fifth scholarship, it is HDFC Bank Education Crisis Scholarship. An amount of up to 75,000 will be given to students who by themselves or one of their guardian or the parents have met with a major accident uh, or loss of property or death. Here the aim of the scholarship is to give financial assistance to the students so that they don't drop out of college due to of all these personal hardships. All the documents which are a testament for the same should be submitted to avail the scholarship. The mode of application is online and the scholarship provider is HDFC Bank. Okay, coming to sixth scholarship, it is Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam Scholarship. An amount of 10,000 to 20,000 will be given to all the students who are applying, uh, who are studying or who are about to give their entrances in their plus 12th. The pass percentage of the students should be more than 55 percentage. And one criteria is that the scholarship is available only to the EWS category of students, that is the economically weaker section of society. The mode of application is online. The next scholarship is L'Oreal India Scholarship for Young Women in Science. Here, a scholarship amount will be given to all the uh, girls, students who are studying in various uh, science fields like pure science, applied science, medical and engineering. 
The criteria is that the student should have got more than 85 percentage in the PCMB in the 12th standard or three subjects that is PCM or PCB. Here a scholarship amount of up to 75,000 will be given to students so that they can continue with your education. It is uh, given by the L'Oreal Foundation India. The eighth scholarship is the Smile India Scholarship. It is given by Colgate Palmolive India Limited. Here scholarship amounts will be given to all students who are in second PU, who are doing UG, PG, Diploma, Vocational and even to NGOs and all the other organizations who are doing one or the other form of social service. Here also an amount of, uh, you know, ranging from 50,000 to 75,000 will be given on submission of proper documents for the same. And the application mode is online and you need to apply to it by uh, the uh, uh, Buddy for Study website. So that's about the eight scholarships I was talking about. Uh, I hope that's, that this video was helpful to all the students who are watching. I have tried my level best to give you all the most credible information out there. And you can always check each of their websites and portals for more information regarding the same. I think the tentative dates for most of these scholarships is somewhere between May to September. So keep checking their websites for the last date and apply for the same if you feel like you come under the category where you can get one of these scholarships. Uh, I hope that you can avail these scholarships and you can use it wherever you want to. Uh, that's all. Uh, we've come to the end of the video. I will be trying to come up with much more interesting videos whenever I can. Uh, thanks for supporting. I love you all and bye bye.